Hello, my name is Andrei. Welcome back. Uh, today I'll talk about uh, layout LNV2 model running on uh, Hugging Face Spaces. This model is fine-tuned uh, using um, Hugging Face Trainer class and it runs on top of PyTorch and it's fine-tuned using uh, Court dataset. Court dataset uh, is a set of sample receipt documents with uh, out-of-the-box OCR data available. So you don't need to do OCR yourself, you can use um, existing OCR data from this dataset to fine-tune the model. And uh, my point was to uh, to see how this fine-tuned model works with um, three sweeps that are not included into core dataset and how well it will classify new, new receipts. For this reason, I uploaded a uh, fine-tuned model to uh, Hugging Face Spaces environment and created um, a simple Gradio uh, UI uh, to wrap the model and to allow uh, just to, do, to play, play around and interact with the model and see how it classifies the data. Okay, so this is the uh, Hugging Face uh, Spaces application. Uh, I'll post the URL to this application below the video. You are uh, welcome to go and uh, play around yourself uh, with your own receipt documents. And the way it works, uh, by default, I provide three examples of, uh, of receipts. Right, so th this is the first one. You could click Submit. And what happens now, Layout LMV2 comes out of the box with OCR solution uh, on top of Tesseract. It will try to extract uh, uh, text data from, from the receipt. And uh, based on this data, it will try to classify each field uh, the way the model was fine-tuned. And it will try to assign correct labels to, uh, to each field. But I should say that this default um, OCR uh, doesn't work well. Uh, it's good for just to play around and maybe some to build to build some concepts, but not for production use. So if you are seriously planning to use layout LMV2 uh, to, uh, to to build to build some solution that would help to understand layout of of your documents, then you should uh, from the start think uh, about OCR as well. You should use external system uh, for OCR uh, to to extract uh, text from the documents, not the one that comes with the layout LMV2 out of the box. Okay, so we got the results. Now we can uh, right click, open it in another tab, and we see that uh, if you look into the uh, receipt items, then we see there's a correct classification menu and them for the uh, for the one item for the second and menu price. Uh, those things are correctly classified. Then uh, tax uh, is uh, tax price is correctly assigned. Uh, and then this the total one is correct as well, and credit card price is correctly assigned as well. Whatever you see on the top, the header is not, um, it's complete garbage here, it's not correctly assigned. And the reason for that is uh, because court uh, data set with the sample receipts, all those receipts, they're not, um, there's no header information uh, on the receipt documents, uh, it's just blurred. So when model was fine-tuned, it, uh, it was fine-tuned to understand um, uh, receipt items, uh, total, subtotal, and tax, those kind of things. Okay, so let's see how it works on another uh, example. Okay, and let's open it. So we can see this is a different kind of uh, receipt, and uh, still menu items are correctly, uh, receipt items, sorry, are correctly uh, classified with menu and M. Then we have menu prices. Uh, for the actual uh, price values, then this uh, total price uh, label is correctly assigned and so on. And of course, header as expected is incorrect. So we can see on those unseen uh, receipts, um, fine-tuned model uh, also behaves reasonably well. And let's see one more example. The third one. Okay, it's done. Let's open it. So what we got here is, um, it looks like in the menu uh, receipt item is uh, is assigned uh, is classified correctly as the menu. Then we have uh, sub subtotal price, correct? Uh, tax is not identified, so this is probably related to the OCR issue because um, OCR didn't extract this text at all. This is why I was saying that you should not rely on this out-of-the-box OCR that comes with layout of the model, you should use external OCR. Uh, then we have this one, uh, doesn't seem correctly classified, and total price is correctly classified, 1450. And 
item prices are not identified because they were not um, identified by the OCR. Okay, so my point was to uh, quickly show you how uh, we can run fine-tuned uh, document understanding model, which is called layout LMV2, uh, with uh, uh, Hugging Face API, and how we can run it on Hugging Face Spaces for quick demo. So anyone could go go and play around with um, this fine-tuned model with uh, the ownership documents. And the important point that we learned here is that we should not rely on OCR system that comes uh, together with the model. We should uh, look um, into some more reliable external OCR systems because the more reliable OCR, OCR output you have, this means uh, better quality output you'll get from the document understanding model layout of MV2. So thanks for watching and uh, see you next time. Bye.